In this video, I'm going to talk about the number one question that I get from clients and from people that just see what I'm doing and what I've built over the years. And it's, how do I start? And you can imagine that if you don't answer this question, nothing is going to happen. I mean, that's self-explanatory. If you don't start, you can't create anything. And so are you ready to create? Are you ready to take action? And do you want to find out how? My name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I am a leadership and empowerment coach for Live For Yourself Consulting. And if this is your first time at our channel, we really try to release content that's focused on helping you create a career that you can love. We'll talk about a variety of topics relating to personal and professional development. And if you like what you see, make sure you share this video with a friend, give it a like, and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And after you hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell next to that button to be notified of new content. So if you haven't gotten started, let's just be upfront. You, you are stuck. If you have not gotten started, you are stuck. You don't know where to start. You don't know what to do. And if you stay in this place, nothing is going to change. And so learning how to get started is how you can create change in your life. It's if you have this idea, some goals that you might have for yourself, it's what you need to do to make progress. I mean, again, pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know how to start, you will never start going anywhere. You will never get to where you want to go. So if you've made it this far in this video, I will assume that you're going to take some action. I will assume that you're searching for answers. And when it comes to learning how to start, I like to think of it as self-leadership. Are you leading yourself towards the things that you want in life? And I've discovered in working with clients and in my research that there are three characteristics of people that can lead themselves. And the first one is clarity. The second one is confidence. And the third one is control. And so if you have all of these three things, you will take action. If you don't have any of these three things, you will find it very hard to get started. If you're stuck, if you're not taking action, if you're not making progress, then you don't have clarity. You don't have a clear vision of what you truly want, why it truly matters, and how you're going to get there. And so you need to take some time to, to stop thinking about what you want to do, thinking about the fact that you're not getting started, and think about what you truly desire about what you want to create. And then what you truly need to do, what steps you need to take, not just some overarching goal, but the literal actual steps that you need to take for yourself to take action, to get started. So sit down and literally plan out, this is, this is where I want to be, and do I know how to get there? Do I know what things I need to do? The most important thing I need to do to get there. And how can I break that down into manageable, actionable steps to actually make progress? And if you don't know what you need to do, then who can you find? Who can you talk to to help you take that action? Okay, so the next component of actually taking action, of getting started, is having confidence. And if you're not making progress, another hard truth, you don't have confidence in yourself. And you don't have confidence in your skills and abilities. And so now you need to take some time to stop, to stop thinking about actually doing something and think about what you think about yourself. <laughs> think about what you think about yourself and the skills that you need to actually reach your goals. So what can you do right now in your life to build self-confidence and confidence in your abilities? So identify your limiting beliefs, start reframing them, identify the skills you need to be successful, start building them, and do all this with the understanding that it's going to be a journey, that you're not going to be an expert, right? I, I even suggest looking at the people that you love in the field that you aspire to be in and identify when they first started, identify how long it took them to get to where they are today. Uh, look at their first initial videos, like the grainy, poor sound quality, like look at the events that they spoke at, do some research, because when you, when you understand that Taking, taking action, being successful, it's all a journey, it's all a process that will in itself build confidence. So if you have clarity and you have confidence, you now need to make time to actually do something. So do you have control over your life? Do you 
have control over the time that you're going to be investing these things that you want to take action in. Um, you can't get started if you don't have time to get started. So what can you start saying no to in your life? So you can say yes to the things that you actually want to take action on. And even if you don't plan on taking action right away, can you block out time in your schedule so that you always have this free time that you cannot fill up with anything other than what you want to create? Think about that. If you always have this free time, you're going to fill it. You're going to fill it with gaining clarity. You're going to fill it with gaining confidence. You're going to fill it with taking action and getting started. And if not, what else are you going to do? You, you have to agree that you're not going to invest that time into anything else other than the things you want to get started in. So I've given you a lot to do. You have to build some clarity. You have to build some confidence. You have to build greater control. But be careful. Don't get stuck in this research mode because the reason why you're not getting started may be because you think you need more and more and more and more. And so I, I, I want to end this video with just one major piece of advice and that's you have everything inside yourself to start defining yourself as successful, to start defining yourself as the person that you aspire to be. And once you start defining yourself as that person and create that message and connect with people with that new message, you will find that action comes towards you. Starting is going to come towards you. You're going to get pulled forward instead of having to push yourself forward. So remember, instead of always researching, how can you start today just with something as simple as redefining who you are and what you bring to the world and what you tell people. Remember that. That is the most important part of this video. Are you ready to get started? Are you ready to take action? Are you ready to build greater levels of clarity, confidence, and control and redefine who you are in your life to already have the messaging that you have gotten started? I believe you can. It's your turn to believe you can. Okay, everyone, share in the comments on what you've gotten started with. Share if you have any questions in terms of this video, or if you don't want it to be public, send me a personal message. My email is in the show notes. Uh, if you like this video, share it with some friends, give it a like, and make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the little bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of new content. And most importantly, everyone, keep on living for yourself.